And today we're hearing from a disappointed business owner. She wanted to own a medical marijuana dispensary, but she's off the state's latest list. KMUA's Destiny Patterson is here in the studio to tell us why the business owner is angry she didn't make the cut. Here I have a list of companies who applied for the dispensary license in Missouri. Almost 50 companies in Columbia applied, and on a lucky seven got the green light. Today I spoke to one woman who didn't quite make the cut, and she's not happy about it. This is what you got on the denial reason. Here is just one of the denial letters the state sent to medical marijuana dispensary applicants last week. We double-checked everything, triple-checked everything, we read everything. Paula Shu is already a business owner. She owns an auto parts repair shop, but she was ready to take on a new industry. All the work she had to fill out. The state hired a third party to review and score nearly 1,200 applicants for dispensary licenses. It's sort of like an election, you know. Uh, people work hard, they spend a lot of money to win an election, and they may not win. And but they may they may have made a great candidate or a great. Um, official just like one that did. The state approved seven applications from Columbia and denied 42. She says she wants to see more local people in the medical marijuana industry. We know the individuals. We want to, we are the individuals. And that's what keeps the country actually evolving as a small mom paw stores. And Fraker says other people may still have the opportunity to be involved. There's going to be opportunities possibly where some applicants license award ease will not be able to fulfill their their obligation and so we'll be able to go back to the stack and 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 select the next ones that that had the next best score she says she will appeal that decision in the studio destiny patterson kom u8 news